Hi guys, for my next episode of culinary trip around the world, we are visiting Greece. And I was thinking what to make that is very traditional Greek and it's very easy to make. And then I realized if I had a Greek grandmother, this is what she would probably make me. She would make me a spanakopita and she would put it in my mouth and tell me, it, it is good for you. So what is a spinakopita? Spinakopita is a spinach pie that's made out of flaky phyllo dough. And back in the days, in the ancient Greece, they actually didn't have spinach. Spinach didn't come to Mediterranean until 400 years ago. So if you think all this uh, uh, smart old folks like Aristotle and uh, Plato and Hippocrates ate spinacopita? Probably not. But spinacopita in the modern Greece is very, very popular and very easy to make. So let's do it. Spinacopita. Eat, eat. It's good for you. For this recipe, you will need one package of phyllo dough, 500 grams of Greek feta, one cup of Parnassos cheese, which is optional. Two packages, 16 ounce each of frozen spinach, four eggs, one cup of good olive oil, six green onions, and a bunch of dill. We need to defrost that um, spinach. Sometimes people like using the fresh spinach, but it's going to be difficult to measure because when spinach cooked, uh, you don't know how much it's going to be left. So just put the frozen spinach in a bowl, cover it, and put it in the microwave to defrost. And keep checking your spinach. Remember, you don't want it to be cooked. You just want it to be defrosted. Now we need to drain all the juices out of the spinach because we don't want all this moisture in the spanakopita. So just use a colander or I'm using a sifter and um, just keep squeezing your spinach and then try to get as much um, juice as you can. Um, sometimes people even like to return the spinach back on the stove and cook it so the, all the liquids are um, evaporated. Put your drained spinach in a larger bowl and we're going to start adding other ingredients to our filling. I am using two packages of Greek feta. You need to drain all the liquid out and um, sometimes I find it much easier to crumble feta with my hands um, so just use the gloves if uh, you don't want to use uh, your hands you can always crumble it with just a fork and um, crumble feta but not too fine just make sure you have um, a sort of like a pea size uh, pieces left in there and we're gonna add that Parnassos cheese in the original recipes they use uh, Kefala Graviera which is a much harder cheese that cheese that I'm using, Parnassus, is more like a mozzarella. It is a salty cheese. Um, it's very stringy, but it's going to add a nice flavor to Spanakopita. So just add maybe um, a cup, a cup and a half of that cheese in your filling. And we're going to add three eggs. And we are going to reserve um, one egg um, for um, later. So just use three eggs and um, this is optional too, but the original recipe calls for green onion. I know a lot of people don't like onion, but trust me, it's going to add a very nice flavor to this panacopita. And um, it is just uh, more green stuff uh, uh, to our health, I guess. So just um, cut all the green onion and put it in the bowl. and. Um, as far as um, dill is concerned, um, I am using the fresh dill. Sometimes people use the dry one. It doesn't really matter. I think the fresh one is going to add more flavor to spanakopita. You can put just a tiny bit of salt and pepper because remember uh, feta is really salty. So don't put a lot of salt, maybe just a little bit more pepper if you like, um, black pepper, or white pepper, or green pepper, whichever one you like. And start mixing your filling. When it's all um, mixed up, it's gonna come together and it's gonna look really nice. Now it's time for our phyllo dough. 
in uh, supermarkets phyllo sold in the frozen section so when you get it home just let it sit maybe for an hour on the counter to defrost i am gonna make a medium size um, spanakopita so i am cutting this phyllo dough lengthwise um, in three different sections if you want more of a cocktail size or smaller party size um, spanakopitas you can actually divide that dough into four strips instead of a three strips but remember it's going to be more work for you to uh, make those little triangles and we're going to put the rest i'm going to work with one part and put the rest in the paper towel so it doesn't get dried up so we're going to use two sheets for each um, spanakopita so um, and we're going to uh, put a generous amount of olive oil in between those two sheets and a generous amount of filling and just notice how i make the triangles it's very easy it's just a folding method i think if you um, try it once um, you will be able to do it very easily so i'm gonna do one in a slow motion so you guys can see there's one sheet of phyllo dough a generous amount of olive oil on one and then we're gonna put the other one on top of that one and another generous amount of olive oil sometimes people use butter but I think olive oil is much more delicious and we're gonna put a generous amount of um, filling right on the corner and we're gonna start folding so it's triangle then another triangle and then just keep going on until you reach the end of this um, uh, phyllo dough strip and if there is a little corner that's sticking out you need to tuck it inside and that's it notice how i arrange spanakopitas on the baking sheet um, two triangles make a square right so i counted these guys up and it uh, looks like um, out of this amount of phyllo dough i have 21 triangles um, uh, done so we're gonna poke them with a knife uh, that will help um, the filling to cook uh, from the outside and um, also it will help all the um, air from the filling to come out and it's, um, your triangles are not gonna burst so we are gonna put um, that egg that we reserved on top of the spinacopita put your spinacopitas in preheated oven and bake for about 30 minutes or you will see until it browns look how beautiful it is and delicious Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye.